Hello, we're Group 50 and in this presentation we'll be focusing on the company FarmDrop. Throughout the duration of this video, we'll be taking a look at FarmDrop's business model, its strategic value of IT, in addition to an ER diagram, an SQL query, as well as some recommendation about the company's IT and website. FarmDrop is an online grocer based in London, founded by Ben Pugh in 2012. FarmDrop works to partner with local food producers with, and farmers in order to provide sustainably sourced and organic products. In 2017, FarmDrop had a reported 30,000 active users. FarmDrop has built its business model based on three main pillars, consumers, suppliers, and the environment. FarmDrop has a clear and powerful value proposition that was missing in the market. Specifically, FarmDrop focuses on supplying customers with the freshest, finest local provenance and sustainable products by providing the best service through door-to-door -door delivery directly from the farmers to consumers. In terms of customer target segments, FarmDrop targets people who desire premium quality products, people who want to buy local provenance products, and ethical consumers who want organic and sustainable products. These people are mainly middle-aged and well-educated people. However, FarmDrop aims to expand in new market segments like young families buying nutritious prepared meals. FarmDrop has managed to create strong personal relationships with its customers through the door-to-door -door delivery. Furthermore, it achieves to create strong relationship between the firm and the farmers through daily friendly interaction, but the overarching goal is to create a closer connection among consumers and high quality local products. FarmDrop's partners are a huge pillar in the company's business model. FarmDrop collaborates with more than 450 producers that provide it with exceptional quality meat, dairy, fruits, vegetables, bakery, coffee and much more. Additionally, important an important partner of the firm in terms of financing is the capital venture company Atomico, which funds ambitious tech startups. In 2018, Atomico became partner with FarmDrop aiming to improve and develop its products and services. FarmDrop, as an online grocery marketplace, has its key activities the promotion, sale and distribution of the products through the firm's online marketplace and mobile app. Especially, FarmDrop's convenient delivery is crucial for its success. The customers can reach out to the company's products through the direct channel. The mobile application and FarmDrop's online platform are the two available channels which provide the consumers convenience, quality and rational pricing. Moreover, FarmDrop's marketing channels is consisted by both online and offline campaigns, having as an overarching goal to acquire and retain as many customers as possible by building potent internal and external relationships. The firm's key resources are divided into financial resources, human resources and physical assets. In terms of financial resources, FarmDrop has already been funded by individual investors and venture cap capital companies like Atomico. FarmDrop's human resources is calculated to be around 100 talented loyal employees building interpersonal relationships with them so they are able to make the difference. In FarmDrop's physical assets include the new delivery hub and firm offices, the fleet of electric vans, as well as the online platform and mobile application. The company's revenue stream comes exclusively from the selling of its 3,500 different products. In 2018, FarmDrop managed to raise its revenue by 86% compared to the prior year reaching the revenue of 3.95 million. FarmDrop follows a value-driven cost strategy, focusing on quality. The, ma the majority of company's key costs are variable costs and they are coming directly from the products like handling and delivery costs. Additionally, the firm's fixed costs could be considered the marketing costs, employee salaries and IT costs such as software, hardware and other staff. IT is crucial for any e-commerce business such as FarmDrop. An IT ecosystem consists of three categories. Physical, such as smartphones which they use to scan their products. Software, for example the app that keeps track and organizes the orders made and lastly, service, which the technicians are responsible for the smooth running of the website and app. The client-server architecture is a computing model in which a server hosts, delivers and manages most of the resources that are to be consumed by the client. Firstly, the customer places an order from the hardware, which is either a smartphone, tablet or computer, which then hosts the client software, which is either the app or the website. The information is then sent to the server, where it is recorded and sent to the supplier, who is the farmer. They then prepare the order and ship it to the customer. This framework has reduced FarmDrop's cost because everything is done directly by the company's server so there is no middleman. Porter's Five Force model includes threats of entry, bargaining power of buyers, threat of substitutes and bargaining power of suppliers. The way FarmDrop benefits is by them knowing their strength currently in the market and how to defend against competitors and new entrants to the market. According to Porter, in order for a company to gain a competitive advantage, they need to have a clear, defined competitive scope and a cost strategy. 
FarmDrop employs a generic strategy in which they target a narrow market with a differentiated product. Their focus strategy is, for example, to target consumers that seek organic and sustainable products. They also provide a unique customer experience through the easy use of the dynamic website, allowing them to maintain a competitive advantage. The value chain is also used by FarmDrop to add value to their products and services. For example, the marketing and sales department will advertise and promote their services through social media as well as run different competitions during different times of the year in order to attract more customers, thus increasing sales. The enterprise resource planning is a central database that collects and gives information to different departments and is also used by FarmDrop. The way they utilize this is with customers relations management, where as soon as a new customer signs up for FarmDrop, they will email them a £30 voucher, thus encourage them to buy more products and creating a better image of the company. Next is the entity relationship diagram for FarmDrop. FarmDrop's ERD ensures that the company's operations and activities run smoothly, having a high level of effectiveness. FarmDrop's ERD is consisted of nine entities, and each one has a unique primary key as well as foreign keys in order to collaborate with the different entities together. All the relationships among the entities are one-to-many relationships because this cardinality of relationship is the most proper in order to avoid any confusion. Some of the most important relationships between the entities are, for example, the supplier entity with a product entity. One supplier can supply the company with more than one product. The supplier entity includes important personal and contact details for the supplier, while the product entity includes significant product information. So, the products that will be selected from the customers will appear as order items. Indeed, each customer can select each product more than once, so the relationship is one to many. The selected order items, they are all included in an order which has been made by each consumer. This relationship ensures that there is no confusion as to which order item included in each order. Furthermore, product entity is related with product category entity. One product category consists of more than one product and this is useful for the company to identify its products. Another one considerable entity for the company's function is the employee entity which includes employees' personal and contact details. The employee entity is correlated with the order entity and the delivery entity in order for FarmDrop to ensure who is responsible for these activities. One employee can take part in more than one order or delivery process. Extremely important for the company's function is the relationship among customer entity and order entity. One customer can make more than one order and once the order is made, the customer proceeds to the payment process. That is why the customer entity is also linked with a payment entity with a one-to-many relationship. When the order is placed and the payment is done, the last step is the delivery of the order and the customer will receive his products in 24 hours for the order. Now we are looking for a meaningful structured query language, SQL, hidden behind a personalized search of a customer in FarmDrop's dynamic website. The scenario behind this searching includes a customer who seeks for the products category meat and specifically all the beef products which have a specific or characteristic that filter organic. We can create the above SQL query in the Access by combining the data of the entity's product category and product. So the SQL beha query behind the ser above search is that. FarmDrop has developed a very good website interface, however there is always room for improvement. A good addition to the website would be to display more information on the products they have in a, in a dynamic manner. For example, they should implement Tesco's tactic of displaying ratings from customers and lastly, display the expiration date of the products in accordance to the delivery date. Some of this information already exists, but in order to get a hold of it, you need to click on a product and be directed to a different page which consumes more time. Thus, a more dynamic approach to this idea will minimize time spent, similarly to what Amazon is already using, and improve customers' overall experience. Another way they can improve is they should allow users to check out without registering. Lastly, another improvement would be to add more secure payment methods such as PayPal in their checkout options. Customer security is vital when purchasing online, and having such secure methods of payment will surely improve the reputation of the website and encourage users to make more purchases. In conclusion, FarmDrop has a sustainable and effective business model. IT plays a vital role in FarmDrop's success and has significantly lowered costs for the company. However, farm trucks should take into consideration the recommendations provided as to improve their site further and improve as a company.